if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, is it beneficial to fast every X days? Here are some relevant studies in humans for X equals 2, or alternate day fasting, showing generally beneficial results. Alternate day fasting increases HDL and decreases triglycerides. HTTP, slash slash www, NCD, NLM, NIH. Gut slash pub. Alternate day modified fasting improves LDL particle size in obese adults. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Alternate day fasting increases fat oxidation and lowers fasting insulin in non obese adults. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Ramadan intermittent fasting increases HDL and decreases LDL. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Fasting before exercise increases fat utilization. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Intermittent fasting improves insulin sensitivity in men. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Prolonged fasting leads to clinical improvements in rheumatoid arthritis patients. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. Fasting patients show clinical improvements in rheumatoid arthritis. HTTP slash slash www NCD NLM NIH. Gut slash pub. The biggest issue with most of these studies is that the samples sizes are small. I suspect it is expensive to put large numbers of people on controlled fasting trials, and who's going to fund that? If the results show that fasting is beneficial, it doesn't help anyone sell anything. In rodents, alternate day fasting increases mean lifespan and improves resistance to neurodegeneration, stroke, myocardial infarction, cancer, and diabetes, but that's in rodents. 